Hey, my name is Matt and welcome to the next lesson in our Phrase Academy module. This is lesson number three. And if you've missed lessons one or two, don't worry in the description below, there's links to both of those. Definitely check them out. There's a lot of tips and tricks I've shared in there that you're not gonna find anywhere else. Now in this lesson, we're gonna look at the outline and the optimization functionality of Phrase. These are two important features that you definitely wanna be taking advantage of. Let's look at the outline first. It's over here in the sidebar. And when you click it, it brings up this horizontal list of all the different SERP results by, by rank. So rank one, rank two, rank three. This is a great way to get that high level overview of the SERP. And you can bring things in, you can click a heading and bring it right into your outline. You can change what it is in H2 and H4, whatever you want. You can rearrange things. And what's really cool is you've clicked the summarize button over here, click summarize. And the phrase will actually mesh different different SERP results for a particular heading that you've selected. So how does SEO work? We selected that from our, how does SEO work? Why is SEO important? We selected, why is SEO important? So what it's done is actually gone out and found different SERPs, SERP results that, that were similar based on natural language processing to this topic. So why is SEO important? There's one SERP result. Why is SEO important? That's another SERP result. And what it's done is it's, it's created unique content using AI and also based on the SERP about these particular headings. And now you can paste these concepts into your article, into your content brief, for instance, and then send it off to your writer or write about these different concepts. It's a great way to create content really fast. And if you really wanna get fancy, you can click the right draft button. And this output right here is from that right draft button. It's actually written an article for us. now. It says draft for a reason. This is a draft. You're gonna to have to go through it. It's gonna probably sound very coherent and very well written, but for a competitive search query, you're gonna to have to go well beyond this. You're gonna to have to do your research, maybe tweak some things, bring more facts and figures in, maybe put a couple tables in, all kinds of additional things, but this at least gets you started. This gets you 50% of the way there. We have 2,600 words right now. This is all from the right draft feature in phrase. Very useful feature. Now, let me give you a couple tips. The first tip, this is very important. This is just as important as that pencil icon tip I taught you in the research feature of phrase. The outline functionality only works well for competitive search queries. Let's say we had a search query for how to train your dog to hop on one leg while barking the national anthem. I guarantee you no one's written an article on that. And because no one's written an article, you're not gonna have any SERP results on that particular topic. Everything's gonna be irrelevant. And so the outline functionality is not gonna work very well. So you're gonna to have to find a different way to write your article. What's cool about Phrase is it's a toolbox and it has all kinds of different tools in it. It has hammers, it has saws, it has screwdrivers. And with it, you can build that house, you can build that article, but you don't wanna use a hammer for everything. You don't wanna just use AI for everything or you don't wanna just use the outline functionality for everything, or you don't wanna just use the research functionality for everything. You use specific tools for specific circumstances, and that is how you're gonna unlock the most power out of Phrase, and that's what sets Phrase apart from all these other tools that are just AI or just optimization. Phrase does it all, but you're gonna to have to use your brain to, to intelligently select the particular tool for the particular job. In one article, you might be using a different tool in different headings. One particular heading, you, you might use the AI writer. Another heading, you might use the research component. It just depends on what you're trying to achieve. Now, the next tip is don't neglect modifying these search results. So as an example, let's go into the summary. So here's our summarization. If you don't get good output from one of these, you can delete this section. Say, you know what, this is not relevant to the article. So I'm gonna delete this section and now it's deleted. Or you might have a particular result in here that's not relevant, we can delete that. You need to use your brain, your brain is much smarter than the AI. You need to use your brain in processing these results because if you don't, or if you write the draft and you don't go through this, then you're gonna get stuff that's not relevant. And Google's AI model is bigger than any other AI model out there and it's gonna pick up on those things. And if you're not bringing your A game, you're probably not gonna rank. So that's the second tip. Let's jump into the optimize functionality. This is a really cool feature also that you need to be using. 
These are all of the different long tail results. The phrase is identified as being relevant and you need to incorporate into your article based on its natural language processing. And what's really cool about this is you can click on one of these results and see how it was used in the SERP. So if you don't know a lot about this particular topic and you say user intent, what does user intent mean? I know nothing about that. We can open that up and learn about that. We can click on one of these results and bring these little paragraphs in here and use that as a foundation to then build our article. Phrase is so powerful when it comes to doing your research and pulling things out from the SERP that you wanna then talk about in your article. I wanna talk about this percentage for a moment. Here's the first tip. Don't worry about getting the percentage to 100%. Get it to right here. Get it like to your average, whatever your average is. Maybe the average is 80, maybe the average is 50. Get it at least to the average. And then judiciously select other things to talk about based on what your brain is telling you is relevant to this particular topic. As you get down here to some of these more obscure long tails, like list of tips, do we really need to talk about list of tips? Is that really relevant? Um, you want to use your brain to, to tell yourself, is this something that really should be talked about or is it not? Because if you start just bringing everything in, you could end up talking about things that are not relevant in Google's eyes to this particular search query. Now, the other thing, the other tip I wanna give you is realize that when you're optimizing your article, and I usually optimize my article after I've written it, you're not just writing for this bar up here. You're not just writing to get to 100% or whatever your goal is. You're writing for a human. And if you are writing stuff that's terrible, imagine a recipe article. Find a recipe on brownies and you have to read the entire like life story of the author. My grandma passed this recipe down and it was amazing and we made these brownies and the day I was making the brownies, I spilled the flour on the ground and it just, it's, I just want the recipe. Give me the recipe. And you have to scroll down and find the stupid recipe. That's a bad user experience. In some situations, if you give your reader a bad user experience and they leave your result, they leave your page and go and find what they're looking for somewhere else, that tells Google that you don't have a good result. The user did not have a good experience on your page. So when you write, write in a way that's gonna captivate your audience, that's gonna educate your audience, write in a way that you would want to actually read the article. That's the secret to actually ranking higher on Google. The other tip I wanna leave you is clusters are really cool. I said I usually optimize my article after I've written it. That is true, but sometimes I'll look at the clusters as I'm creating my outline because that can tell me different things, different concepts that I might wanna hit on as separate headings. So as an example, what is SEO? I'll probably want some kind of a heading about keywords. Now, I don't know what the heading is gonna be, but this, looking at the different clusters for keywords can give me some ideas. So that's the second tip about that. Very powerful tool, lots of features in here. If you have any questions, jump to the official Phrase Facebook group. It's completely free to join. A lot of great people in there that can help you out with your questions. And also, if you wanna learn more about Phrase, keep watching, go to the next lesson here. But if you really want a lot more meat, a lot more value, a lot more content, in the description below, there's a link to my Phrase Beginner to Master course. Definitely check it out. There's a lot of value there. All right, let's go. Let's go to the next course. I hope to see you there.